as well as LeBron played last night, it was his message for Vegas Ooh. fans and Adam Silver. Ramona already knows what I'm talking about. It caught folks' attention. <laughs> Oh, it's wonderful. It's the best uh, fan base in the world, and uh, I would love to uh, bring a team here at some point. That would be amazing. Um, and I know Adam is uh, in Abu Dhabi right now, I believe. That's where they're at right now? Yeah, with the Bucks in, in, in uh, Atlanta. So, But he probably sees every single interview and transcript that comes through from NBA players. So I want the team here, Adam. Thank you. I love it. All right, Brian, pretty direct. Yeah. Uh, what's the viability of LeBron being an NBA owner in Vegas? Yeah, I think it's interesting that he didn't get asked directly yeah. about it. He brought it up with yeah. that little side eye look, right? That little side <laughs> yeah. eye. You knew he was he he knew what he was doing right there. He doesn't have to send that message to Adam Silver privately. He or uh, publicly, he can do it privately too. There is going to be a good chance of there being expansion in Las mm. Vegas sometime in the next decade. There are some things that have to happen before that. We have to get a collective bargain agreement, a new television deal. But when there are uh, bids, there are going to be probably multiple groups that want to have an expansion team in Las Vegas. It's very desirable. There are plans for an arena that will an NBA, a new NBA level arena. And how are those folks going to differentiate themselves? Because they're all going to have money. And LeBron's already involved with the group uh, in the Fenway Sports Group and, um, and Redbird Sports Partners. Um, that has a bunch of teams. That group, they already own multiple European soccer teams, the Red Sox, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Their money will be there, but you're going to have to win out, not amongst Adam Silver, amongst the other owners. And having LeBron James as, you, as the centerpiece of your ownership group is a way to differentiate yourself. So while well, I'm going to tell you that there is not a guarantee of there being an expansion team in Vegas, there's not a guarantee that... That, that if there was that LeBron and his in a group that he would be a part of would win the bidding but coming out and establishing yourself now wanting to do that is very shrewd and I'm going to tell you that LeBron started the process of being an NBA owner more than a decade ago that's mm. how long his relationship yep. with Fenway Sports goes back it could be another decade before he does get it done but he's already working on it very obviously. So the first thing that needs to happen is he needs to stop playing basketball to even be considered for an ownership role. I mean, you can't be an, uh, involved at all in a team if you're an active player. So we've seen Chris Paul's name get mentioned, whoever's going to buy the Phoenix Suns. He has to stop playing basketball first. LeBron James, he's in a contract through 2025. That that lines up very nicely with the time frame that we're talking about. The new mm. broadcast deal will have kicked in by then. We'll have a new CBA by then. I don't know, one or both of his sons will be in the NBA by then. Maybe he'll be playing with them. But his timeline lines up fairly well with whatever timeline the NBA is on for expansion. My understanding, Adam Silver's been very clear in every public comment he's given on this. They want to deal with the new CBA and the new broadcast deal before they deal with expansion. But it is something they are looking at. Now, I I try to be more intentional in my life these days. I, I have a lot of bandwidth issues. I have two kids now, so I'm intentional about what I say and what I do. I watched that last night, and I sat up in my seat. As Brian said, he was not asked a question about owning a team in Vegas. I love it. There was just a local Las Vegas reporter who said, hi, I'm from Las Vegas. How do you like the fans and playing here? And LeBron said, okay, this is the moment I have been waiting for. It was a very intentional act. Nobody put him up to it. He decided he was going to plant his flag there. And in, in a lot of ways, we in the media we always talk to sources and people with knowledge of so-and-so's thinking he just told you what he was thinking he put it out there and everybody who is there's been a lot of I people who've expressed interest in owning the team in las vegas lebron now is ever, the guy everyone is chasing well there's a lot of people who've expressed interest there's only so many players who have these that billion dollar valuation that can actually make this a reality All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.